Hello, George. Good morning. Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? Ah, look at them tea. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. We have had a very good morning, haven't we, George? Because I got to get up, got to wash my hair, have a shower and everything before George got up. Because Daddy was home this morning, so he got up with George, did breakfast and everything like that, and then, oh, you're off. How about this? How about you sit with this, look? This is your favorite toy. So, yeah, um, Ash was here this morning, so he was able to get up with George, get him ready, whilst I had a shower and stuff. I didn't, like, put makeup on or anything because I'm not going anywhere. So, I kind of feel like I should give my skin a bit of a rest. But, Ash has now gone away until tomorrow morning because he's got a work thing. So, he's not going to be back until tomorrow. So, it's just me and George for today and tomorrow, which will be fine. George is obsessing over this. <laughs> the VTech activity table, which I'll link down below. He loves it so much. I just wish it was a bit sturdier. Hey, what have you got on your top? Is that a strawberries? Is that what daddy gave you for breakfast? Yeah. You're so cute. Yay! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna take little man down for a nap now because, oh my gosh, I've got to turn this off. Where's the off button? Oh, right, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take little man down for a nap now because he's been up for a couple of hours this morning and then I'm gonna start cracking on and maybe hoover if I can be bothered. I've got loads of washing to put away and I want to do some batch cooking for George because we don't have much in, in terms of batch cooking. He's just getting his way through food so quickly these days because he's eating so much more. I did recently do a what my nine month old eats in a day, but George is now 10 months old. He was, to be fair, in that video like nine and three quarters months old. If you are looking for a little bit of inspiration as to what to give your baby for baby lid weaning, George does eat well, it's fair to say. So what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh my goodness. Do you want to go down here? Ready? Go! 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 <laughs> he is getting tired so I'm going to go and put him to bed and then hopefully I can show you what I decide to make him for his lunches, dinners, that kind of stuff. Is that fun? Careful. I'm so nervous about him getting his fingers cool. Careful. Ah. We are going to go and pop George down for a nap and then I am going to show you guys what I decide to cook for him um, for lunches and things like that. I love batch cooking because it's so much easier on the day but I hate the day that we have to batch cook. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Let's go to bed, little one. Oh, I still need to tidy up from breakfast which I forgot about but yeah, one thing at a time. <laughs> okay, so I'm back and I've made some food for George. So I got some puff pastry and I decided to do some pesto puff pastry pinwheels, which is literally exactly what it sounds like. I smothered puff pastry with some pesto and then literally cut them into strips and rolled them up so it was super easy. And then this one was banana, cinnamon and apple, like grated apple, mashed up banana and then some cinnamon powder and I just rolled them up as well. I actually ate one of those ones because they looked so good. So yeah, obviously you gotta test them up before I give them to George and they are delicious. I'll probably just cut them up into like maybe six when I give them to him so it's nice and easy. I also then made him from some fish fingers. I think I slightly overcooked these but basically we had like two fish fillets in the freezer and I defrosted them and then cut them into little bits and then put like flour then egg and then breadcrumbs on them and then put them in the oven for 20 minutes I would maybe say slightly less than 20 minutes is ideal but it's okay no worries with that I could just make a little fake tartar sauce or like 
something similar to that and George will be able to have these for dinner. I then made what looks like the most disgusting pasta in the world but George is obsessed with it. It's butternut squash, um, like mash essentially, with a bit of parmesan and thyme and then pasta and it's literally the easiest thing in the world and he loves it. Anything with butternut squash he absolutely loves. What I'm going to do is just put them into, I've actually got two from like a previous batch that I did, squares Foot walls, cubes full of that already. So I'm just going to put all of that into here, and then that is George's batch cooking done for the time being. I'm not even sure how long this is going to last because it seems like I always predict it will last ages, and then it only lasts like a week and a half. And I'm like, how has he got through all that food so quickly? What I'll do with these when I defrost them, so I'll put these back in the freezer, obviously they'll then be rock hard, I'll pop them into like a little bowl when I'm ready to either thaw them or microwave them, and then what I will do, because when I defrost pasta or cook it again from frozen, I always find that it goes a little bit dry, so I always add, well you can either add like maybe full fat yoghurt or full fat cow's milk or just something like that, even if it's just water, but I like to make it a little bit creamy for him and obviously it's a good way of getting like the full fat milk or whatever else you're using into the recipe um and it also helps it like be a bit more soft basically so yeah those are george's meals for the next couple of weeks hopefully um i'm sure he'll want many many more things <laughs> but we're gonna start off with that i've obviously got some left over so this is gonna be at george's dinner for tonight i will pop that into a bowl and see how it gets on look he doesn't want to sleep hey not fancy in a nap today, are ya? You yeah. iron up my lunch, aren't you? <laughs> I've literally just, I usually have my lunch with George, but I was really hungry because I didn't have breakfast. So I thought I would have um, something like really light. It was literally just cucumber, well it's in front of me here. It is these cucumbers and, oh God. I actually made some hummus as well, it was really easy to do. So nice, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it without George trying to grab it. Mmm. 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 gonna give George one of these pinwheels. I love this removable tray because just in his high chair now. I could just cut this up on here, don't have to get anything else messy. Because I still haven't tidied up from earlier when I was making everything. <laughs> Yummy, this looks good. Ready. There you go. There you go. Does that look nice? Yummy. Mmm. Yeah! <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. I'm not gonna lie, my hummus is nowhere near as good as shop bought hummus. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be a regular thing because I love hummus. And this is a lot cheaper to do it this way, which is not as good. This little container was something that came with an Indian takeaway. <laughs> so George was supposed to be going into childcare this week. However, the childminder that we chose had to close the setting for a PCR COVID test. So they had to close that. They got the results back to say it wasn't COVID, but it was like a viral infection that her son has and all of the kids individually have had it as well. So by sending George, they would be knowingly exposing him to that viral infection. So I kind of just thought, you know what, let's leave it a week and push it back a week so that we can be on the safe side and know that we're not putting him at risk unnecessarily. I don't even start work until later this month. So it was just like an introductory thing for him to like, get settled before I go back to work so I don't have to worry when I do start work. But it's been another week of us being at home together, which is absolutely, I cannot complain really. Say hi. Hi hey everyone. Hi George. Oh. I'm just gonna miss him so much. I'm going to try and take little man back up for a nap because he only had 20 minutes of a nap beforehand. You ready? You gonna go to sleep? Put his lullaby on before we go in the room. Let's try this. Okay. Oh. I'm hoping the camera doesn't distract him.
that went a lot better than I expected it to go. Fingers crossed. Where's his monitor? It's downstairs. Hopefully he gets another hour or something because I have some editing to do and some tidying up to do downstairs, which I'm really, really putting off. I'll regret if I don't do it though, so. Oh, I've got washing to put away as well. This is literally the fullest washing basket ever. It's a mix between all of our clothes and I just, I really don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it takes me at least two weeks to put washing away. Don't know what that's about. But anyway, I'm gonna crack on and I am going to, I'm not gonna film me editing and putting washing away because that's literally the most boring thing in the world. So I will catch up here a little bit later, probably when George wakes up from his nap. And yeah, we'll see what time it is. <laughs> hey guys, we are back. It is a little bit later now. It's about 5 p.m. And George is in a bit of a mood unless he's right here with mummy. So I feel like we're gonna have to either go out for a little walk because he's usually all right for out for a walk but it looks like it's about to rain as it's been raining all day so i'm not really sure what to do should we play some games should we play some games on your little play mat uh, huh yeah yeah okay let's do that then right what are we gonna play little boy hmm Oh, wow, what's this? It's our book. It's your favorite thing to do, isn't it? Climb on all the furniture. Yeah? I was watching um, Say Yes to the Dress UK, um, just like some bits on YouTube and stuff because it came on recommended to me, but I don't know if George is gonna be into that, so we're gonna play a game instead, hey? George, come here. This walker is something that he is really, really into at the moment. It's from um, Le Toy Van, I believe. Um, they have them on Amazon for like 60 pounds, but you can get loads of other different ones as well. But I just really like this one because it comes with loads of wooden blocks, which you can obviously make towers and stuff with. But it's actually just really fun. I mean, I don't know what he's doing right now, actually. He's literally crawling through it, but um, he does use it to walk as well. And this one here, this VTech toy, he is obsessed with, I said it earlier, I'll say it again, he is so obsessed with it, I'll link that down below as well. Blimey, are you gonna smile for everybody? Oh my goodness, you need a haircut, little man, you do. It's all everywhere, isn't it? Yay, you're all better. You're all better. Oh, claps. Oh, claps. Oh, claps. Oh, hello, little man. Hello. You don't have a clue what's going on, do you? What's she doing? Bye. Bye. See you later. You're not cute. You're so cute. Here we go, that's better. Can't get up there now. Hey, little man, you little sausage. You can't get up. So exhausting, but equally, I don't want to change it. <laughs> I feel like I'm not alone. 
by saying this is the most difficult job I've ever had, being a mum to a 10 month old, but equally, I don't ever wanna change it. And every day that he's getting older, it stresses me out more, and I just want to reverse the clock, like. I, and the baby carrier has come out. Because George is a very, very cuddly little boy right now. Because he's teething. Well, I say cuddly, he's actually eating my necklace right now. But he's teething, a little tooth at the top of his mouth is coming through and yeah, he's just struggling a little bit. So my favorite invention ever. Um, I'll link it down below because this one is the new one, which I absolutely adore. Baby carrier is out, the hair is also up, which I cannot complain about because I do love it with my hair, so it's just so much okay. easier. We are gonna go and start dinner now. And yes, I did say we, because George is gonna be attached to me the entire time. I try to keep popping his arms back through where they're supposed to go, but he keeps poking them out, so. He's like this for the rest of the evening, I think. Are you such a beautiful boy? Are you? Darling. We've got this for dinner tonight, which I showed you earlier, me making it was literally just the sweet potato mash, some parmesan, some thyme, and some pasta. And I'm just gonna add some full fat milk to this and pop it in the microwave, ready to give George. Hopefully he enjoys it. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Oh my goodness. For God's sake. What did I do? George, what happened? Okay, so that ends the vlog on the most irritating note ever because I've now got to tidy up this mess and prepare something else for George's dinner. I think I'm probably just gonna stick with the fish uh, fingers that I made for him earlier, but it's just so annoying because now I've got to, oh my God, he's trying to climb out of the high chair. Please don't do that. Guys, I am gonna have to go. <laughs> Please tell me if you got to this far in the vlog in the comments because, mm, yeah. It's just one of them days, isn't it, George? Isn't it? Oh my goodness. Right, okay, I'm gonna have to go. I will love you and leave you. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. I feel so free, I'm a sweet baby.